Good morning. Here's your weather briefing video for Central Alabama. The weather stays active across Central Alabama with showers and storms likely through midweek. Back to more typical summer weather to end the work week. And could we have a tropical system headed to the Gulf? Here's what's in today's video. We have a surface front that will begin to move into the northwestern parts of the area and progressing southeastward through the day today. Clouds will be on the increase from the west and scattered to numerous showers and storms will be likely as the front pushes through the area. Some heavy rain is possible and a few flooding issues may happen thanks to poor drainage. No severe weather is expected, but I wouldn't be surprised if we have a couple strong storms at some point. Highs in the mid 80s to the lower 90s. We'll start to have a ridge build over the southeast on Sunday that will eventually lead to smaller rain chances for the work week, but rain and storms will be likely at times throughout the day. Once again, severe weather is not likely, but a strong storm or two will be possible. Highs in the lower 80s to the lower 90s. Rain and storms will once again be likely on Monday as an active pattern is still set up over the southeast. Highs in the mid 80s to the lower 90s. Tuesday will pretty much be a carbon copy of Monday, with highs in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. On Wednesday, we start to see the ridge finally start to take control of our weather. Heat will begin to rise and rain and storm chances begin to fall. Scattered showers and storms are highly possible, but not likely as in the previous few days. Highs in the upper 80s to the mid 90s. We get back to a weather pattern that we expect for this time of year on Thursday. Mostly sunny with a small chance of a few scattered showers and storms during the afternoon and early evening. Highs in the lower to mid 90s. And we'll keep that trend going to end out the forecast period on Friday. Mostly sunny and hot with a few scattered showers and storms possible by afternoon. Highs in the lower to mid 90s. And now the tropics. Near the Lesser and Greater Antilles, an area of disturbed weather over the central tropical Atlantic Ocean is expected to interact with an approaching tropical wave during the next several days. Some development of this system is possible while it approaches the Lesser Antilles during the early to middle part of next week and moves generally west-northwestward near the Greater Antilles toward the latter part of the week. Looking into voodoo land, the GFS has picked up on this system and brings it into the Gulf of Mexico and making landfall near the Texas-Louisiana state line on August 6th during the morning hours. However, we have a good while before the actual forecast track is determined, and we have to wait for the system to become better organized before that will happen. The European shows a system moving in the same direction, but much weaker than the GFS. We are getting closer to the seasonal peak, so we'll have to watch every disturbance out there. That concludes today's weather briefing. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin wishing you a pleasant day, stay safe, and God bless.